In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create these vector letter designs using the Affinity Designer iPad application. So we'll get started here by opening up a new document. I'm gonna tap to open a new document, select new document, and the dimensions I'm gonna use are 1080 by 1080. So go ahead and type those in here if you don't have those parameters set and then type OK. And in our new document, I'm gonna first come up here and make sure I have snapping enabled, this little magnet icon, and then tap on the options icon next to it and go to snapping options and make sure you have all of these settings in place here. You may want to pause the video just to make sure that you have everything set in place as you see here and then tap done once you're finished. And to start, I'm going to grab my circles tool. So I'm gonna tap on circle and I'm gonna Swipe to draw a circle. I'm gonna tap with my index finger to create a perfectly round circle that's about that big. I'll grab my selection tool and I just wanna snap this to the center of the page when you see that red bar and that green bar vertically. I just wanna make sure, there we go. And now I'm gonna make this black. So I'm gonna tap on the color disc up here. I'll make this black and then I'll close out of that, open the layers menu and I will make the opacity of this roughly in half. So I'll bring that down to about 50 and then close out of that. And now I wanna duplicate this. So I'll come over here to the three dots and tap on duplicate. And I wanna scale this down. So I'm gonna grab one of these handles and scale it down and tap with one finger and then tap with another finger and then tap with a third finger so that we are scaling it down. Let me try that again. And there we go. We wanna scale it down from the center so it's about that big. There we go. Now tap off of it to deselect everything and then tap on it again to reselect it. And now tap on the three dots and go to duplicate. And I'm gonna grab the selection tool. I still have it enabled. I'm gonna take this top node and scale this up, tap with one finger and then snap this to the top like that. So we end up with something like that right there. And now I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and I'm gonna to snap to the right edge of the circle and then snap down here to the bottom right of the circle so that we have that shape. Grab the corners tool and take this corner of the node right here and bring that all the way in so we have a rounded corner like that. Now I'm gonna go back to my selection tool, swipe over the entire selection to select everything, and now let's go into the Shape Builder tool. I want to choose the Add option, so I'll tap on the plus icon, and I just wanna color in this area right here to make that all one shape. And then I'm gonna color in these two segments right there to make those one shape. And then I'm gonna choose the Subtraction option, and then I will tap here twice to create negative space in there like that. And you can see we already have the start of a letter A. So let me go back to my selection tool. Let's tap off of this to deselect everything. I'm gonna take just this object right here, go back to the layers menu, and let's bring the opacity of that back up to 100%. And I'm gonna make this a shade of blue. So I'll go with something maybe a little on the darker end like that. That looks good. And now we're gonna give this a gradient. So I'm gonna grab my gradient tool over here, and I'm going to just tap and swipe to create a gradient. And I wanna make this end of the gradient a very light green. So I'll come back up here to my color disc and I'm gonna choose a shade of green and I'm gonna make that a lighter shade. And that right about there is what we're going for. And now I just wanna flip this around so that the gradient's going the other way. So I'm gonna tap on this icon up here that says reverse gradient. We want the green end over here and the blue end over here for what we're trying to create. And now I'm going to grab the selection tool, go back to the three dots, copy the object and then select this object right here and then paste the style by going back to the three dots and select paste style. And now we wanna reverse the gradient for this one. So we'll go back to the gradient tool, reverse the gradient. There we go. That's the effect we're going for. And now I'm gonna create a little bit of a shadow going in here. So to do that, let me tap off of the graphic to deselect everything. I'm gonna come over here to my shapes tool and grab my ellipse tool. And I'm gonna snap down here to the bottom and click and drag to create a circle. I'm going to tap with my index finger to lock the aspect ratio. We want the circle to be that big right there. Grab the selection tool, bring this into the center. And now I'm going to make this a different color. I'm going to make this a darker shade of blue. So I'll come over here and choose something like that. Close out of that. And now deselect this and then select it again and duplicate it. So come up here to the three dots, go to duplicate. Whoops. And then Take this circle, let's first make this a little darker so we can differentiate it. And I'm gonna take the bottom node over here and scale this down and hold a tap with the index finger and then snap it to right about there. 
There we go. We want we want this shape right here. Sort of looks like a crescent moon, but upside down. And I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna hold a tap with my index finger and tap the other object. So we have both objects selected, both circles. And I'll come back into my shape builder, and we should still have the subtraction option enabled. And with that option enabled, just color that in like that to subtract that from there. Now I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. Let's open up the layers menu, and I'm gonna take this shape over here on the bottom. And I want to duplicate that. So let's come over here to our three dots and go to duplicate. And I'm going to hold a tap over this duplicate layer and bring this all the way to the top like that. And then I'm going to swipe right on the object beneath it so that we have both layers selected. And then come back into the Shape Builder tool. And let's subtract everything outside of this part right here. So I'm going to subtract all of this. And that's what we're going for, that effect right there. Go back to our Selection tool and tap off of it to deselect, and then just take this piece and bring that off of there like that and tap on the trash can icon to get rid of it. And this right here, you can see now, we have a very simple three-dimensional letter A that we created. And you can now take this shape and, and transform it to create the rest of the letters of the alphabet. So to show you what I mean, I'm gonna swipe over everything here and I wanna group it together. I'll come into my layers menu, I will select group. And I'm gonna scale this down, hold a tap with the index finger to lock the aspect ratio. And I'll move this over here. Whoops. If you make a mistake, you can undo by tapping with two fingers. And I'm just gonna slide this over. And I wanna make a duplicate of this object. So to make a duplicate, I'm gonna tap and swipe, but then I'm gonna hold two fingers. I'm gonna tap with two fingers like that. And now we have a duplicate copy. And we're gonna replace that over here. And I'm just gonna rotate this around. To rotate it around, I'm gonna grab this handle right here and just rotate it like that. I'm gonna hold a tap with the index finger so that we can lock it onto 15 degree increments so that we have it upside down like that. And now it looks like a letter B. There we go. And to make this look more like a letter B, I'm going to take this end right here. Let me zoom in on this so you can see it better. I'm gonna take this top part right here and bring that up. So let me grab my nodes tool and I wanna tap on just that object and then tap and swipe over those nodes and then bring them up like this. Oh, I missed the tap, let me try that again and then bring them straight up. Hold a tap with the index finger so you can lock it onto the vertical axis and bring that up to about there. Now, if you notice, we have this object that's sticking out. So we're gonna fix that by lowering that in the layers menu. So let's go back to the selection tool, go to the layers menu, and I will take this object right here and I wanna lower this to the bottom. So I'll hold a tap over it and just lower it to the bottom like that. And now we can collapse the group and now you can see we have a letter B. So let me scale these down. Let me select, you know what, let me zoom out a little bit. Let me select all of this and I'll scale these down. We're gonna create a letter C next. And after that, you should have everything you need to know to create the rest of the alphabet for the most part. And to make the letter C, I'm gonna take the letter A and I'm just gonna make a duplicate of it by tapping and swiping and then holding a tap with two fingers, bringing that over like that. Release everything. And we're gonna ungroup this for now. So let's go back to the layers menu, tap on the grouping option and select ungroup. And let me zoom in on this. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool. And let's make a rectangle going over the right half of this object. Don't, don't worry if you miss it like I just did right there. We're gonna go and fix this. So I'm gonna bring that up like that. It's, it should snap in place. And we want this to be directly over the center of the object like that. And I'm gonna zoom in just to make sure I have it placed where I want it. So, okay, everything here is looking good. We want it going, we want the left edge of this rectangle going halfway across this shape here. Otherwise, what we're gonna do next is not gonna work. Now we'll go back to the selection tool. Let's select everything here. Go to the shape builder. We should still have the subtraction option enabled. And I'm just gonna draw in here just to subtract all of that out of there like that. And we have the beginning of a letter C, but we need to bring it out a little more to finish it. So let me go back to my rectangle tool. Well, you know, let me grab my selection tool and deselect everything first. And now I will grab my rectangle tool and I will draw a rectangle about that big. And again, I wanna make sure I'm snapping to the top and bottom here. So I'm just gonna grab these edges and snap them in there. And now I'm gonna grab my corners tool and just bring this all the way in. There we go. Grab the selection tool. I wanna to make a duplicate of this. So I'm gonna tap and swipe and then hold two fingers. 
and bring this down here and then I just want to flip this vertically so I'll come up here to the flip option and flip this vertically and now we're going to merge these together so let's tap on this object hold a tap with your index finger tap on the other object you should have them both selected go to the shape builder now we're going to choose the addition option and we're just going to add those together like that and that's the effect we're going for I'll go back to my gradient tool I just want to fix the gradient like that so there we go. We want the, the blue end on the left and the green end on the right. And the shadow got layered beneath everything here. So let me come into my layers menu and take this shadow and hold a tap over it and just bring this back to the top where it belongs. There we go. And now we're going to do the same thing down here. So let me zoom in on this a little bit. You can see I didn't quite snap this where it needs to be. So let me grab my selection tool and just ensure that I have this snapped directly onto the corner. Sometimes when you're working with these with these Apple pencils that sometimes when you release the tap, it moves it off of its position. So you'll have to double check that. And now I'm going to tap on that object to select it, hold a tap with the left index finger, and then select the other object. You should have them both selected. Go to the shape builder and let's just combine them together like that. And again, I'll go back to my gradient tool and just bring the gradient down like this. We want the green up top and the blue on the bottom. If you want, you could hold a tap with the index finger to lock it onto the vertical axis like that. And you could even take this middle, whoops, you could take this middle position right here and bring this up or down to make it look as you like. And now we can deselect it, we could zoom out. Let's select this whole selection right here and group that together. And now we have the letters A, B, and C, and you can go and recreate the rest of the letters of the alphabet using this same process. So let me move these a little closer together so you can see them a little better. And I will scale them up. And there you go. That is how you can make three-dimensional letters using the Affinity Designer mobile app. As always, thanks for watching.